Hello everybody, welcome to another lesson by me, Miss Pythagoras. In this lesson, I will explain how to calculate the outstanding balance on a loan. This is lesson 5 of 8. Here, I will explain how to work out how much you still owe while you are paying off a loan. In other words, you will be able to work out the balance of the loan. To work out the balance on a loan, we work out the present value of the series of payments that still need to be made. Bob bought a piano for 35,000 Rand and took out a loan from the bank for three years. The interest rate is 21% per annum compounded monthly. Repayments of 1,318 Rand and 63 cents per month started one month after the granting of the loan. Calculate the outstanding balance after one year of payments. So remember, the total time for this loan is three years. And then, therefore, the outstanding balance after one year means the remaining time will be two years times 12 monthly payments equals 24. We will work with the 24 payments remaining and the present value formula. Our X is 1,318 Rand and 63 cents. I, the interest rate 21 divided by 100 is 0 0.21. And remember, only inside our sum, we will divide by 12 to compensate for the monthly payments. Into the present value formula. In X's place, 1,318 Rand, bracket 1 minus bracket 1 plus i is 0 0.21 divide by 12 because it's monthly payments and then our n is 24 but um, because there's a negative inside the formula it's negative 24 and remember this is the payments remaining divide by i i is 0 0.21 divide by 12 y 12 monthly payments and if you slot that into your calculator in one go no rounding off inside your sum then p is 25,661 rand and 44 cents still outstanding have you subscribed yet and a reminder you can also visit my website onlinemats.co.za also, feel free to leave a comment or like my video. Let's continue. Now, you will see that when we calculate the outstanding balance on a loan, the question always consists of two part, parts. The first part is to work out X, the monthly or quarterly, whatever, uh, repayment. And then in the next sum, you will have to work out the outstanding balance on the loan. Now let's look at an example. Max Verstappen wants to buy a new go-kart for his little brother. He takes out a loan of 50,000 Rand. The loan is to be paid off by equal quarterly payments. This is new, quarterly instead of monthly, payments over 10 years. If interest is charged at a rate of 10% per annum, compounded quarterly determine the value of his repayments each quarter. So we'll start with the summary. P, the present value of the loan, 50,000 Rand. I, 10 divided by 100 is equal to 0, 0,1. And then inside our sum, we will divide this one by 4 because of the quarterly payments. In. Now let's see. So the loan will be paid off in 
10 years time, that's fine. Why times 4? Because of the quarterly payments. So our N is 40. And then X, that's what we're looking for, the repayments each quarter. Instead of monthly, now it's quarterly. Into the present value formula, we substitute P, 50,000, equals X, that's what we're looking for, bracket, 1 minus bracket, 1 plus. Our I is 0, 0,1 divided by 4, because it's quarterly payments, to the power of negative 40, and you understand where that comes from now, divide by 0, 0,1, the I, divide by 4, quarterly payments. Then we will solve X now, so we will multiply by 0, 0,1 over 4, both sides. And then on top there, on the numerator, when you slot all of that into your calculator, you end with X times 0, 0,627, etc. Remember, no rounding off inside your sum. And then on the left-hand side, 50,000 times 0, 0,1 divided by 4 gives you 1,250. And then you will divide the 0, 0,62, etc. away, both sides, and you end with 1,991 rand and 81 cents. That will be his quarterly repayments. Now, this is what this lesson is all about. Determine the outstanding balance on the loan after eight years. So remember, outstanding balance, it's all about what is left to pay. Therefore, our X is 1,991 Rand and 81 cents. Our I is the 10% divided by 100 equals 0, 0,1. And inside the sum, we will compensate for quarterly. Now, have a look at this. What is N? N is the two years that's left of the 10 years because the, the outstanding balance on the loan after eight years. So there's two years left times four. Why four? Because it's quarterly payments. If it was monthly, this will be times 12. Therefore, there's eight payments left into the present value formula. In X's place, we substitute 1,991 Rand and remember the cents. Bracket 1 minus bracket 1 plus. Z I is 0, 0,1 divided by 4 because it's quarterly raised to the power negative 8. Payments left divided by 0, 0,1 divided by 4 quarterly. And if you slot all of that into your calculator, then the outstanding balance on the loan after 8 years is 14,281 rand and 55 cents. Let's look at another example. And again, you will see that the sum consists of two parts. The first part is we will work out X, the monthly payments or the quarterly payments. And in the second part, we will work out the outstanding balance on the loan. Leclerc wishes to purchase a PS5 and gaming equipment to the value of 100,000 Rand. If he borrows the money at an interest rate of 9,8% per annum compounded monthly, calculate the monthly installments if the loan is to be paid back over five years. So we will work out X. Let's make the summary. B, the principal amount, 100,000, the amount that he will borrow from the bank. I, 9,8 divided by 100, 0, 0,098. And again, it's only inside our sum that we will divide by 12. Why? Because of monthly payments. N is 5 years times 12, because it's monthly, compounded monthly, is 60. And X, that's what we're looking for. Into the present value formula. In P's place, we substitute 100,000 equals X bracket 
1 minus bracket 1 plus i is 0 0.098 divided by 12 because it's monthly raised to the power of 60 you understand where that comes from it's the five years times the 12 monthly payments divided by 0 0.098 over 12 then we multiply 0 0.098 over 12 to get rid of it under the line what we do on the left we do on the right and then when you slot the numerator into your calculator you end with x times 0 0.3861 etc remember no rounding off inside your sum on the left hand side multiply 100,000 times 0 0.098 over 12 and you end with 816,66 etc divide away the 0 0.3861 etc and the answer is the monthly payments will be 2114 rand and 88 cents now for the second part of the sum determine the outstanding balance on the loan after three years our x we calculated in the previous sum 2114 rand and 88 cents i 9 over 8 divided by 100 is 0 0.098 and inside the sum we will divide by 12 because it's monthly payments look at n n will be 2 why because it's the payments left after three years and the total was five years so then your n was five years minus three is two so your n is two times 12 why 12 because it's monthly payments so n is 24 payments left into the present value formula in x's place we substitute the 2114 rand and 88 cents bracket 1 minus bracket 1 plus i 0 0.098 divided by 12 because it's monthly raised to the power negative 24 because that's how many payments are left divided by i 0 0.098 over 12 because it's monthly when you work that out slot it into your calculator all in one go no rounding off until your final answer and then the outstanding balance will be 45,923 rand and seven cents now you know how to work out the outstanding balance on a loan in the next lesson I will explain sinking funds. Click on the video in the left hand corner to take you straight to the next lesson.